a theater, a television, a film, video art, photography, and print star. Someone who has changed the world. Someone who is one of my dear friends for the last 12 years. She is stunning. She is gorgeous. She has a heart of gold. And she made Tommy Lee scream. Her name is Miss Nina Arsenault. Thank you. Thank you for such a generous introduction. That's wonderful. Hello, girl. Congratulations. You're busy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been busy working on lots of stuff. And so today I'm really excited because, you know, you've done so many things. But today I want to focus on the next big accomplishment that you have just finished and you have written a book. Well, I haven't written the whole thing. Right. The book The book is – I'm the subject of the book and the book is called Trans Performing Nina Arsenault in Unreasonable Body of Work. And uh, it contains the published script of my play, The Silicon Diaries, and it contains some poetry that I've done and it contains my photographic pieces. But there's also 13 other articles by um, – Artists, scholars, critics, a whole bunch of other people who are weighing in on my accomplishments in culture, I suppose, and my my influence. And um, everyone, including a conversation about my sex work with my former pimp and down to a imminent uh, biblical scholar from Israel who's talking about the spiritual aspects of my work. Wow. It's powerful. Powerful. Girl, you've done so much. And there's so much more for you still to do. I'm not slowing down. No. No, no, I'm speeding up, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell me, what did you ever know uh, that Nina Arsenault was going to be this powerful in the community and in the world? Was that one of your goals? Well, mm, uh, no, I can't say that I knew things were going to turn out like this. Like 10 years ago, I was just... Uh, you know, I was a, working as a sex worker. I was really kind of alienated in culture, not even 10 years ago. God, just a, a few years ago. Um, and then in 2007, I started writing these columns for Fab Magazine called T-Girl. And I wrote about my adventures in plastic surgery. And um, I wrote about guys that love transsexuals. And they were popular. And then I got asked to come speak at universities. And I got asked to put together a play. So I just really was taking things one step at a time, one project at a time. And every time I did a project, I applied myself as deeply as I could. I really just every time just did my best. I was so grateful because for so long I was just pulling tricks in my apartment. No one cared about me. So I put my all into everything I did. And every time I did that, it turned out well. And then I always got offered another job. So the whole thing just kept going and going and going. So um, uh, I, I had no idea that it would lead lead here to where it is now. Now I'm a professional artist. I'm out of the sex trade completely and um, uh, really just working full time on video art and my writing and um, uh, theater. It's been incredible. It's been an incredible ride, but I had absolutely no idea it was going to turn out like this now. It's the Wednesday Slap and Tickle on the Shalou Show, and I've got the fabulous Miss Nina Arsenault in studio because her book is launching on Friday night, and it's called Trans Performing Nina Arsenault, An Unreasonable Body of Work. Nina, talk to me about your editor, Miss Judith Rudikoff. She's worked all over the world, um, South Africa, Cuba, um, all over uh, Canada. She's an incredible woman. And uh, because of that, she knew international scholars and critics. She could bring the people, top people in their fields, people like Shannon Bell, who's one of the top feminist theorists in the world. She could bring those people onto the book and um, really just have international experts weighing in on my life, my influence, and in, in what I'm doing. So I'm, I mean, I, really me, I'm the, the vessel for the ideas. But the ideas being discussed are gender, the body, spirituality, the nature of beauty, the, the morality of plastic surgery, the morality of beauty. Um, yeah, so I mean, she's done an, an incredible job of, of bringing together the most brilliant people in the world, really. And so how did your relationship evolve to make this book? 
Well, Judith approached me because she uh, she thought there was enough interest in me and my work to to put together the book, and I was very enthusiastic to help. And um, we both agreed that um, it had to have a lot of photographs because I've documented my transsexual transformation at every stage, and uh, the. There's, so there's photos of me as a boy, as a girl, as a as a man, as a transsexual woman, and and then subsequently later, as I started to have more and more plastic surgery in my kind of, I don't know what, what you what you'd call it the the doll like personas that I began to embody. That was very important for us to have photos of that, and yeah, and like I was saying earlier, a conversation with my former pimp Todd Clink. Um, you know, for me. Um, uh, I had some of the most intimate and spiritual experiences of my life, not only wrapped up in plastic surgery, but also in sex work. Um, one of the women that I write about in the book, her name is Nancy Bianca Valentino. She's one of the most spiritual women I had ever met in my life. And it was her job to bring North American transsexuals down to Mexico and she would corral us and bring us all down there because she knew a doctor that was brilliant, a plastic surgeon, who was so brilliant and so empathetic to our needs and such a genius that she could facilitate our journeys. She would cook and care for us as we were healing. Um, uh, I'm getting sort of emotional just talking about her because she's such a such a wonderful person. Um, also found found moments of real love, great love and intimacy with my uh, paying clients. What a uh, journey! Basically, the men who financed my journey into myself. Wow, you have such an amazing story, and you know you have influenced so many people. You've touched my heart. You've touched. Uh, you've just. Uh, Nina, I have so much respect for you, and I just think you are a true. What what a definition of a star is 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 Nina Arsenault. So thank you so much for coming on our show today. 